Good evening, everyone, and thanks for meeting with us tonight on uh, December 20th, not December, September 27th. I'm moving ahead of the game here. Um, tonight, we're going to begin with a reading from 1 Peter 5 8. Have sound judgment, be alert. Your adversary, the devil, prowls around you like a roaring lion, looking for someone to devour. Our first hymn tonight is hymn 866, If God Had Not Been On Our Side. this evening are going to concentrate more on the devil. So keep that in mind as we go through the words to the songs and our readings tonight and how um, he definitely affects our lives. Our next reading comes from Romans 8, 3. Indeed, what the law was unable to do because it was weakened by the flesh, God did. When he sent his own son in the likeness of sinful flesh to deal with sin. We sing hymn 638, The Gospel Shows the Father's Grace. The Gospel shows the Father's grace who sent his Son to save our race, proclaims how Jesus lived and died, that we might thus be justified. It sets the man before us. and calls the souls with guilt oppressed to come and find eternal rest. It brings the Savior's righteousness to roam our souls in royal dress. From all our guilt it brings release and gives the troubled conscience peace. It is the power of God to save from sin and 
Satan and the grave. It works the faith which firmly clings to all the treasures which it brings. It bears to all the tidings glad and bids their hearts no more be sad. The weary burden souls it cheers and banishes their guilty fears. May we in faith its message learn, nor thanklessly its blessings spurn. May we in faith its truth confess, and praise the Lord our righteousness. The devil is with us every day, all day, as we say, 24-7. So what do we do? James 4-7 tells us. So submit yourselves to God. Resist the devil and he will flee from you. Our next hymn is I Run to Christ, hymn 833. Sunday school of David and Goliath and how David couldn't wear Saul's armor because it was just way too big for him. So he went in fighting as comfortably as he could, knowing that God was also on his side. We hear in Ephesians 6, 11, somewhat the same theme. Put on the full armor of God so that you can stand against the schemes of the devil. 
we sing a familiar hymn, 869, Onward, Christian Soldiers. soldiers marching as to war with the cross of Jesus going on before Christ the royal master leads against the foe forward into battle see his bank Onward, Christian soldiers, marching as to war, with the cross of Jesus going on before. Like a mighty army moves the church of God, brothers, we are treading where the saints have trod. We are not divided, all one body we, one in hope and doctrine, one in charity. Onward, Christian soldiers, marching as to war, with the cross of Jesus going on before. Crowns and thorns may perish, kingdoms rise and wane, but the church of Jesus constant will remain. Gains of hell can never fence that church prevail. We have Christ's own promise, and that cannot fail. Onward, Christian soul. Marching as to war With the cross of Jesus Going on before Onward then ye faithful Join our happy throng Blend with our sore voices In the triumph Song, glory, blood, and honor unto Christ the King. This through countless ages, saints and angels sing. Onward, Christian soldiers, marching as to war. With the cross of Jesus going on before. We carry the shield. We march behind God as Christians. And we know that he will lead us past the devil. How do we continue in that thought? First Chronicles 16, 34 tells us, give thanks to the Lord for he is good, for his mercy endures forever. We sing another familiar hymn, 503, Oh, that I had a thousand voices.
thousand voices to praise my God with thousand tongues. My heart which in the Lord rejoices would then proclaim in grateful songs to all wherever I might be what great things God has done for me. Oh, forest leaf so green and tender that dance for joy in summer air. Oh, meadow grasses bright and slender. Oh, flowers so wondrous, sweet and fair. You live to show his praise alone. With me now make his glory known. All creatures that have breath and motion that fill the earth, the sea, the sky, now join me in my heart's devotion. Help me to raise his praises high. My utmost powers can never cry. Express the wonders of his mind. Lord, I will tell while I am living your love and grace with every breath and greet each morning with thanksgiving until my heart is still in death and when at last my lips grow cold your praise shall in my sighs be told our last reading is a familiar one that we often use during church services it comes from 2 Corinthians 13 14 the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all we close this evening with hymn 788 all praise to thee my God this night Praise Him, all creatures.
creatures here below. Praise Him above ye heavenly hosts. Praise Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. Thanks for joining us this evening, and remember the devil is right around the corner, so keep your eye on God and everything he did for us, and we hope to hear from you again soon. Thank you.